What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It is your boy MM2K back again with another video. Do me a huge favor hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up. Y'all know the deal. Y'all know why. Y'all know the slogan. Because I'm not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. All right, you see it here on your screen. We try this rather so you can see everything. All right, news article that I'm reading is in regards to Nintendo's new switch to enter production in early 2020. This is a rumor, and you can read further about this um, on the broadbandbullies.com website, but just to give you a snippet of what is being reported here, it says via digitaltimes.com, Nintendo is reportedly planning a new model switch released sometime mid 2020 and will begin mass production at the end of first quarter of 2020, according to the sources from their upstream supply chain. And again, this story is being sourced from digitaltimes.com. Dot com. You can see all of it again on the broadbandbullies.com website. All right. That being said, hey, we talk about this a lot in the broadband bullies. And a lot of people are skeptical that this is even possible. Here's why I'm not skeptical. This is why I think that this is true. Number one, the rumor keeps coming up. And I don't think the rumor keeps coming up because people want this so bad. Look. Excuse me, switch owners don't care about fidelity all like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, they are a cross between the handheld people that never really cared about that, right? <laughs> it was the portability and the console people that were used to being a generation behind as far as fidelity and resolution were to the big two, which are PlayStation and Xbox anyway. So now that you have this group that is buying Nintendo Switch games and hardware at enormous rates, used to the lower fidelity, 480p sometimes undocked, 720p, whatever the case may be, they are not bringing this rumor up over and over again because it's something that they desire. I think this rumor is being brought up because there is some validity to it. Secondly, what's growing more and more in popularity with the Switch, if you look at the numbers, what's growing more and more in popularity are third-party games. Now, Nintendo's first-party games are still king on the Switch, okay? Um... But there's been a significant drop from when the Switch originally released to what you're seeing now as far as how dominant first-party games are on the system. Now, what do I mean by that? Earlier on, prior to 2019, you saw upwards of 88 to 85% of the games that were purchased on the Switch year over year were what? First-party games. But then you start going into 2019 and then with the advent of games like The Witcher coming, you know what I'm saying? And Wolfenstein, Youngblood. I mean, that's not the most popular third party game, but y'all get to drift. And the fact that these games can perform well on the Switch and it amazes people how well that they're performing. The porting of these games is working out in Switch's favor big time to the point to where first party games are still dominant. But in certain quarters in 2019, you've seen that drop as, as far, if my numbers are correct that I've been looking at, you've seen that drop go as low as 71%, right? That's a significant dip. So even though first party games are big still on the system, they predominate the majority of software that's being purchased for the Switch. Third party games are cutting into that big time. So they're getting another cash cow. So they're making hand over fist already with games like Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Perfect. And then you're throwing Witcher in there too, that's even giving them more money. Nintendo soon gonna be printing money with the Switch. So why not come out with the system that's gonna be able to continue to support those third party games? You're gonna have games like Cyberpunk 2077 and so forth that are gonna be developed at the next generation level. People are ready to pass this bottleneck that is included with the current generation consoles which are the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One series of consoles. So with that being said, these games are gonna be more demanding on hardware. It's gonna be a lot more challenging to port these games 
to the current Switch hardware. So they're going to likely have to come up with a solution to that, which is better hardware, more capable hardware. Not for fidelity purposes, but just to get these third-party games that are getting gaining more and more traction on the system, gaining more and more popularity in order to port those over, okay? And to get more third-party support in the long run. So those are my thoughts. So I ultimately, I think that this true this this rumor may be more true than it isn't but again it's just a rumor so like we always say you got to do what take it with a grain of salt but we will soon see if this comes to fruition and with that being said that's it from your boy mm2k let me know what you think about what i had to say in this video because like i always tell you who cares what i think but if you lit if you did like what i had to say you can catch me on the corner every boulevard baby check out the links below to follow me Yo, those links will lead you to the Broadband Bullies, PNTS Network, with great shows like Scram Punks, to the Hard Knock Digital Culture, and to Stadia Dosage, all right? Check them out. And with that being said, you guys all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.